All right, guys, I'm at Target right now, and I'm actually kind of surprised with their stock. No, they did kind of move the cars a little bit, which I'm not really sure why. As you guys see, they put like this stuff in the middle of it, so there's some cars over there. Most of it's over here, though. They did actually get the XRS races, which is really cool. No deluxes, though, but like I already got them online, though, and I still remember when the store had absolutely no Fireball Beach races, and I could never find them. But now, they're like peg warmers, and they're like stacked with a bunch of cases. Even way too, because you can see Luigi and Guido right there. No new ones. Those um, Mini Racer 3 packs I already got. That was like a year and a half ago. It was released. And we got some other like cool Thailand cars, I guess. You have McQueen right there. Red Clutch Gonski. Now they do have the Chris Roman case. But I already got Chris Roman. You don't need another one. I even have a second one in the package. I'll be honest, I haven't seen this two pack in a while. No new deluxes. But they do have the Honk Cho case, and I'm pretty happy about. For a second, I thought that was the Metallic Maryland, but her case, like, never hit the United States, so I wasn't, like, surprised it wasn't. But yeah, they just have the normal singles, every single one of them. And nothing too special about this specific um, store. Although Honk Cho are, like, noticeable ones like that they even have like a jade of fillmore right there as you guys can see so yeah decent stock i must say definitely not the best but they did get in a brand new case and i must say i have never seen share from the 2018 card before so that is definitely new for me i also never seen max chanel in the store on the 2018 card that's also pretty new for me and i just dropped with koshkonski nonetheless that's pretty much it for this story right here it's pretty nice the xrs race all right card. guys we're here at target number two numero dos now let's see what this one has for me All right, initial reaction time. This one also has the XRS racers, but they don't have all of them. They're missing McQueen and Jackson, but I must say these XRS racers are actually looking to be pretty um, neatly distributed. Here we have one of the 11, or not, I don't know, sure if it's 11, but it's another one of the gift packs. I actually have one of them, and we have one. Fail. <laughs> right, but I'm just gonna put that back. Anyway, right here, as you guys can see, we have more mini racers. There we have the upcoming mini racer Bobby Swift, which I think some people have already found, so that's pretty neat. It's just a part of the Rusty's Racing Center stuff. I've seen this stuff as well. It's alright, I guess. Not really a huge fan of it. It's like these talking things, and also has McQueen and Cruz. I kind of wish they had more characters, though, than the three basic ones. Like, maybe even not even some racers, like Mater or, or Sally. It's, it's time to give Sally some recognition, I feel like. We do have a bunch of the two-pack cases. Ramon and Flo right there. Eric and Spikey. John, Last Tire, and Turbo Bullock. I called him Jeff by Pity for so long. Now the fact that I'm actually calling him by a real name is kind of strange, almost. Because I'm just so used to just calling him Jeff Corvette Pity from his 2016 release, like those years. No new Fireball Beach racers, though. Just old ones, but the Wave 2 right there, because Luigi and Guido. They do have these three packs right here of the main racers. None of the new ones, if you know what I'm talking about by new ones. I mean, like, the ones with, like, Cruz and McQueen and Yellow Moon, like, that three-pack one, maybe. But, just fun fact is I'm already getting it from somebody else who found it, so I really don't have to worry about that. And like I said, I got back into many racers collecting, so I am still needing to catch up by a long shot, but at the same time, I really do want to get some of the die cast I'm also been missing out on, and I have been keeping track, I have gotten like, pretty neat progress for, well, can't talk, neat, really neat progress lately, more Jada cars right there, and yeah, nothing really else, all that stuff is just meant for other cars, as you can see, it doesn't like say cars on the peg, this is where it just says cars on the peg, so, nothing new here, only two deluxes, which are Sarge with Cannon right here, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this store, not good at all. Bad store. Bad store indeed. And yeah, nothing really, like I said, new about the store. They don't even have the made with lightning bolt pack. It's kind of weird. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this store. And will not, most certainly will not be picking anything up here. Here's a quick glance at those. It doesn't even have the new four pack one. But anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next. Oh, actually, before I go. I just want to point out the Super Track Mac right here. This would be a, I mean, this would have been a very, like, nice Christmas present for kids. Like, well, you know, honestly, like, 
back when Christmas came around, but yeah, this is the big like super track Mac. They have two of them too, and that thing is giant, gi ginormous. And they even have like the new Jackson Storm launcher as well. I mean, it's all right. I mean, at least there's that's just another way I guess you can get a Gallup U for it. But now, surely, 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 um, that's gonna be it for all right, this. Guys, here we are at Walmart. You can see Walmart all the way down there. But I'm gonna come into the gardening section. It's a pretty windy day, but that's not gonna stop me from hunting. Even though I'm probably not even gonna find anything. Let's all be honest. Monster Jam on Zing SpongeBob, and here we have the cars. And nothing new at all. Once again, such awesome stuff, guys. Look at this. We got a Luigi and Guido. We got a Cruz Ramirez. We have the 100 millionth Natalie Certain. We have a Danny Suarez. We got our boy Parker braced in. We got the Thomasville Racers. So much good stuff. I've never seen any of this stuff in the store before. All right. I hope you guys know I was being sarcastic there, but yeah, being real here, yeah, nothing new at all. Do have this two-pack case once again. Nothing new at all. Although the XRS racers are here, but I don't believe they have them all. They just have Cruz and Barry, Cal Jackson, and McQueen are nowhere to be seen. They do have this new Mac transporter thing that many people have been finding recently. And just your basic normal car selection. They are like full of Wally Hollers. I don't even think there's a single hauler here that's actually like die cast and like a placer thing that is not the Wally Hauler. They really do need to restock. There's nothing on the top. As you guys see right there, it says ask for assistance with items on the top shelf. And you know what happens every single time I ask them? They always say whatever is out is out. And it's just so like awkward and weird, but. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the selection here. I won't be picking anything up, but this. This does seem like the XRS cars are being very widely distributed, so I am pretty happy about that. But another X for another right, guys, store. I'm at the final store right now. I'm whispering because it's very quiet in here. I don't really want to grab a tent to myself. So, here we have Michael Roder 11 pack. Now, I'm not even kidding. Before I came to the store, I was saying to myself, I have not found Michael Roder yet. And I feel like everyone's been finding this pack but me. And as I go to the next store, he's right here. There's a second one, too. I already checked. I think this one is in a better condition. And I also do technically need this for the different colored Shan spokes. So that's nice, but I'm just super happy. Too fun. Michael Roder, if you guys hear something in my voice, I'm just a little sick. You guys might have heard that from Instagram. Instagram, but still kind of getting better but here is the Michael Rotor right there I'm super happy to finally find this pack and there is just the other um, cars here nothing too special just this thing here and I did also find the wrist fritter and gold Ramon three packs I'll put a picture on the screen right now I found them at the target that I went to afford this one although I didn't really record it though so but yeah I did find Michael Rotor and that's all of that really matters and this was the last store so it's nice that i did find something at my last store that's really cool. all right guys that is the end of this disney cars diecast search episode i gotta say i feel like these two things right here really just like saved the episode for me because these two were found at the very last two stores i went i did not record the clip where i found the gold ramon and the miss fritter Mini Racer 3 packs, but that was the store I went to right before the last one, which I did record, and in that one, camera quality so bad, or in that one, I found the Michael Roder 11 pack, which does have made a lightning ball, Shannon spokes, and just a bunch of other racers, but of course, I got it from Michael Roder. I feel like those two things really just saved this episode, because without them, I literally would not have found anything, and there really would be no point of uploading a hunting episode without really finding anything. So these three things, I guess, because the 11 pack and the two three packs, Basically, other reason why this is coming out, and I actually only got this for fifteen dollars. Can you believe that? Yeah, I'm just ecstatic and shocked at the same time. I was so lucky. Literally, only got this for fifteen dollars, and you guys can get lucky like that too. I know a good friend of mine; he got his for seventeen dollars. I mean, you just gotta get lucky like that. But anyway, just wanted to record this short clip here. These two reviews will be coming in the near future. Probably not near future, but in the future. At some point, at some time. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this episode. Disney Cars Diecast Search. And I'll see you guys all next time in the next video. So peace out, homies.